Every journey has its final day. Don't rush. Hello guys, welcome to the album gaming. So we're going to do the story quest. All the story quests without delay. So let's go. This is the Windbloom Festival quest. And we're going to do them right now. Let's go. Venti might be here already. Let's take a look inside. Halt! Citizens, what noble errand brings you? Is Kaya here? We need him for something. Captain Kaya? He's on duty in Jean's office. Huh? Why is he in Jean's office? The Windbloom Festival celebrations have always been hosted by the Knights of Favonius. During the festivities, Master Jean personally goes out on patrol. Captain Kaya takes over her administrative duties during that period. Nice. Oh. Where's Kaya? So basically, we're going to talk to Kaya, guys. Kaya! Traveler Paimon, you're here! I was just thinking about you two, and now here you are. How fortuitous. Kaya, did you do your homework? I'm afraid I must disappoint you. I haven't even started writing it yet. Hmm, students that don't hand in their homework on time aren't exactly model students now, are they? <laughs> and what excuse does Kaya have for not handing in his homework? Well, as you can see, I'm helping Master Jean take care of various matters. Mondstadt is a hive of activity over the festive period. Accordingly, there's a multitude of things that need sorting. I've been at it for a good while now. Traveler, can I ask for a favor? I have a drinking buddy that wants me to help him with something, but I'm much too busy. Can I entrust this matter to you? A drinking buddy? A friend you met at the tavern? That's right. I often go to the tavern when not on duty. Somehow, I seem to have made quite a few acquaintances that way. His name is Nimrod. He's never far from the tavern. He should be free right now. Thanks for the help. I'd better stay behind and get started on my homework. <laughs> nice. So we're going to the tavern. Teleport. We're going to focus on the story, guys. Let's find Nimrod. I know he's here. Oh, he's here. Come in, take a seat. We have a few specials today at Angel Share. Uh, what should I do? You must be Dimrod. Kaya mentioned there was something you wanted him to take care of. He's busy right now, but we can help. Uh, huh? Oh, Traveler. <clears throat> I didn't realize it was you. Uh, it's like this. I'm planning to give a gift to my wife for the Windbloom Festival, and I wanted my drinking buddy Kaya to come up with a gift idea. Uh, I... I'm afraid I'm a bit of a drunkard. I'm nearly always in the tavern. My wife hates me drinking, so we're constantly arguing. Another day, another drunkard. <laughs> I can empathize. <laughs> I don't mind a drink or two myself. Then again, and I'm not one to judge, but by the looks of your drinking habits... Hmm... I... no, she's right, of course. I feel like I have to make it up to her. Uh, traveler, can you help me gather some materials? I want to make a gift for her myself. Uh, I should have made preparations in advance, but I've barely been sober these last few days. I fell asleep, and when I woke up, the celebrations had already begun. 
Now I'll never have time to finish it by myself. Yeesh, this guy is a mess. Ugh, single folks in Mondstadt would never dare get others to help them during the festive period. It's lucky you're already married, Nimrod. Uh-huh, you're telling me. Uh, I'm uh, sorry. Here I am making a fool of myself in front of all of you. Ah, uh, what's done is done. Spit it out then, how can we help? I'm going to look for wood in the city. And we'll need plants to place inside. Those only grow in the wild. Could I ask you to retrieve them? I need two stems of small lampgrass. Small lampgrass and wood? What are you making exactly? I want to make her a little wooden house with glowing flowers and uh, handmade furniture inside. Aw, such a thoughtful gift. <laughs> a token of my love. <laughs> Back when I'd only just gotten to know her, I used to make handmade gifts for her all the time. <sighs> she loved them. She even used to say that it was... Uh, uh, oh, uh, <clears throat> excuse me. Let's put the past aside for the moment. <sighs> Thank you all for your help. Lucky you came across such kind-hearted assistance, hmm? Mm. All right, let's go and find those materials. Okay, where's those materials? I guess we have them now. Uh, thank you, thank you so much. With these materials, I can get to work straight away. Okay. Oh. Remember, a gift can't solve everything. <laughs> you need to start being fair to your wife too. I will. I will. Uh, I do hope she likes my gift, though. Everyone likes a gift given with love. Don't worry. Make it a good one. Don't go wasting those materials. They weren't easy to find, you know. <laughs> you already have the materials. Okay, now it's next. <laughs> so, teleport again. Guys. I think we're going back to Kaya. Okay, where's Kaya? We're back! Kaya, have you finished? Time to hand in your homework! Welcome back! I'm just finishing up. Go, go, go! Hand it in, hand it in! All right, all right. Now then, no hurting my feelings. <laughs> hmm. Hmm? <laughs> Tone Deaf Bard, what grade did he get? Kaya, may I read this out loud? Feel free. <clears throat> Me, Maria, means I love you. In the language of the hilly churls. Eh? Huh? That's it. That's it? Coherent and to the point. Plus, the length seems about right. <laughs> what? Are you writing a hilly churlian phrase book? <laughs> a love poem has to convey the style of its author, you know? I'm not sure you took the exercise seriously. Wait! We're just gonna gloss over the fact that Kaya can speak Hilly Trillian? Weird. <laughs> <laughs> Don't underestimate the hidden knowledge of the Knights of Favonius Cavalry Captain. All right then, time to collect the next student's homework. Huh? I just caught sight of a suspicious figure. I must go and investigate. Traveler, I have another small task for you. The mm -hmm. church has applied to us for a hunting license. Please take these official documents to the cathedral. <sighs> Running errands again. <laughs> okay. I'm going to the cathedral. Let's teleport. Be 
Elsa, we need to establish some ground rules. <sighs> if we do end up apprehending any drunken troublemakers, no electrocutions, okay? Oh, Jean, you misunderstand me. That intoxicated fellow you witnessed last time was practically begging me to be shocked. It makes me wonder if some people don't actually quite enjoy getting... Lisa? <sighs> <sighs> Very well, then. If you insist. Jean! Lisa! Greetings, ladies. <laughs> it's been a while. A while indeed. <sighs> As you can see, Lisa and I are on duty. Aw, it's Cutie and friends. Uh, did you see any suspicious people on the way here? If you do see anything, report straight to the Knights. Since when do librarians go out on patrol? Rarely, but this is the Windbloom Festival, and they need all hands on deck. Even the humble clerical staff like me. Lisa, humble clerical staff do not wield Electro the way you do. <sighs> Please do not be alarmed. I will keep my eyes on Lisa, especially since she seems to enjoy electrocuting people just to break up a scuffle, not to mention shocking drunkards until they beg for mercy. <laughs> if you don't like it, I can happily refrain. Is that a promise? Good. Otherwise, I'm going to have to reconsider whether I want a librarian on patrol with me. Hyman <laughs> never knew being on patrol could be so exciting! Okay. So, talk to Barbara. back from the wilderness. As usual, I came by the cathedral to ask the sisters to patch me up. That's when I saw Barbara running out, white as a sheet. She was holding a letter. I've never received a letter like this before. Can I take a look? Hmm. Dear Barbara, I've stolen the thing most precious to you and buried it. Huh. Could this be an attempted intimidation? It's awful. Is it a joke? If so, we don't need to worry, but... But... what if it's real? <laughs> There's a map on the back! Isn't that out in the wilderness? Hmm... <sighs> the thing most precious to you... Hmm... Buried... There's even a chest. Huh... That location on the map is familiar. I've definitely been there before. I can't think straight right now. Nothing makes sense. Oh. It's coming to me. It's coming to me. The thing most precious to me. Wait. Could it be? Oh, no. Barbara, hey, slow down. Aha. I got it. The Thousand Winds Temple. Bennett, hey. Why are they in such a hurry? Let's catch up with them. It's not the Thousand Wind Temple. It's this one. Why do we go to the Thousand Wind Temple? Oh! It's not here. So we need to go outside first. Let's go outside first. To get to the Slow down. Oh, sorry. Uh, I just... I... Calm down. I ran into Jean a moment ago. Lisa was with her. She's fine. 
<laughs> my sister. Really? Are, are you sure? <sighs> that letter. Give it to me. Sure. If they're not talking about Jean in the letter, then what are they talking about? Did you really think they buried Jean underground? What a horrible thought! So, sister, have you found any leads? Looking at the map, the perpetrator seems to have marked out an area around Dawn Winery. That's open land, so hiding something there... Hmm... What could it be? Nice work! How'd you figure that out so quickly? Although, Dawn Winery? That's not the place we were thinking. Hmm... Barbara, rather than letting your imagination get the better of you, stand up and face this head on. You're right. It's just... <laughs> it's a little scary, right? That's why we're going with you. What do you say? <gasps> that, that's very kind. And you, sister? Will you be accompanying us? No need. I knew straight away there was nothing to worry about. Huh? What does that mean? Nothing. Get going, then. Barbara, are you feeling a bit better now? Mm-hmm. I... <sighs> I'm okay. Asaria's right. Better to know the ways of the enemy than stand here scaring myself. That's right! Mm. Let's get moving! Thank you. All of you. Let's get to the location and see what we find. Yep, yep! Go, Barbara, go! Okay, it's here. Interesting. Such an exquisite gift box. What's it doing out here in the wilderness? Uh, wow. What a beautiful windwheel aster wreath. And s hmm. Looks like our perpetrator is really just one of Barbara's fans. There's a note. What does it say? Hmm, let's see. So sorry to get your attention this way. Please accept this wind bloom as a sign of my sincere admiration for your virtue and sweetness. <laughs> ha! Huh. So it's fraudulent intimidation then? Be it for the gods or that special someone, flowers should be offered in utmost sincerity. It's the most important ceremony of the wind bloom festival. Flowers of love and blessings sent on such a special occasion. No effort should be spared to make it spectacular. Behind the questionable methodology, here we have a meticulously thought out and heartfelt gift. Huh. Laying it on a little thick, aren't we? Still seems like someone with a few screws loose to Paimon. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe you're right. I think I have a suspect in mind who fits that description. Who? Who? Hmm. I think I know. Shh. No telling now. <laughs> I'd like Paimon to make a few guesses. Ah, you're so annoying! <laughs> okay, nice. Yo, Wind Plume Festival Part 2 complete. So let's start the Part 3. Realm of Fog and Wind. Let's go. It's gonna be the full story quest for each. Let's teleport. Okay, what's next? We're here, Timaeus' alchemy store. Uh, oh, did you say my name? Looks like I beat you here. So, 
did you do your homework, Timaeus? <laughs> Paima wants to hear it. <laughs> uh, oh, so sorry. I haven't gotten around to it yet. Timaeus, might I ask how you're progressing? Huh? Traveler and friends. Oh, nice to see you again. Uh, Sucrose has me deciphering an alchemical recipe, but my brain is doing backflips. I, I just don't understand it. So, in other words, no progress? <sighs> no. Oh. Now that you mention it, I can't figure it out either. Uh, is alchemy really that mysterious? But of course! Alchemy is an ancient and mystical discipline. Yet with the passage of time, those that can be said to have mastered its secrets grow fewer and further between. Yes! That was my thinking, too. But I believe that Mr. Albedo is still painting on the mountain. And we've got lots of research to do. <sighs> There's no getting around it. If you want my opinion, if Mr. Albedo can't figure out this recipe, nobody in Tavat can. <sighs> Sucrose, what exactly is this recipe anyway? It's a Windbloom recipe I transcribed from an ancient book. Ooh, what if the wind bloom isn't a naturally occurring plant after all, but an alchemical creation? Oh, now that's an interesting take on the wind bloom conundrum. You misunderstand. The book doesn't say anything about it being a recipe for a wind bloom. The book. <sighs> well, actually, it doesn't exactly have the appearance of a book anymore. It's badly damaged and lots of information is missing. Only a few pages of scattered notes from the original volume have survived. That, and a recipe written in some unknown language. The author mentioned in the notes that the recipe was extremely precious. Timaeus and I are completely unable to decipher the content. I know it might seem inconceivable, but... Something about it being extremely precious made me think of wind blooms. Huh? But... <laughs> That's an act of imagination. Traveler, if I may be so bold, could you take this recipe to Mr. Albedo? Mr. Albedo should be at the camp at the foot of the mountain. Ah, oh, the mountain. Now there's a romantic location. <laughs> Wind bloom, the flower that alchemy made. Sounds exciting. Paima needs to know the truth. Let's get going, Albedo, here we come! Let's teleport. Where's the mountain? Ooh, here. Let's go. Albedo! Oh. Traveler and Paimon? And who might this be? Is our tone deaf bard? Venti will do just fine, but yes, I am a bard. Greetings. I'm Albedo, the alchemist. The Wimbloom Festival is in full swing. People celebrating everywhere. And here you are all by yourself. Well, with the Windbloom Festival in full swing, as you say, why would you be out here looking for me? We're helping Sucrose. Sucrose gave us some paper. She says there's a wind bloom recipe from an ancient text on it. Neither she nor Timaeus can understand it, so we came looking for you. A wind bloom recipe? I see. This is an ancient language. It's no wonder Sucrose and Timaeus couldn't decipher it. Even so. I don't believe this is a recipe for a wind bloom. So what could it be? I could only guess, I'm afraid. In order to reach a conclusion, we'll need to see the real thing. Sadly, my hands are full right now. But I can give you a list of ingredients, if you'd like to go gathering. Okay. I have the ingredients. Okay, job done. <laughs> Great work. Let's have a look, shall we? Hmm. Seems we have everything we need. Not for the alchemical process. This shouldn't take long. 
work table and get to work. There we have it. Huh. Uh, is this the wind bloom that Sucrose was talking about? It's just a sweet flower. Have a closer look. Are you sure it's the same as other sweet flowers? Uh, now that you mention it, why is this sweet flower so big? So this is the wind bloom created by following this ancient recipe. <laughs> it really does make me think of sucrose. Huh, it does seem like something she would like. Do sweet flowers this size even count as sweet flowers anymore? I can say with certainty that yes, yes they do. Their essence is the same. But Sucro said that she transcribed the recipe from an ancient book. Could it be that there were sweet flowers around even in ancient times? There were indeed sweet flowers in antiquity. This species has a long history. Seriously? Have sweet flowers really existed all that time? Yes. Whoa! Well then, I must head further into the mountain. I still have painting to do. Perhaps you could pass this on? A traveler. Enjoy the celebrations. Mm. Okay, let's go back to Sucras. We've got something for you. Oh, you're back. Timaeus, how's that homework coming along? Did you get the wind bloom? Let me see, let me see. Here's the flower he created, but Albedo said it's just... <sighs> it's just like the wind bloom in my dreams. It's just a <laughs> sweet flower. No, no, hear me out. This is a perfect specimen from an ancient recipe. I saw it in my dreams. The tetratanic sweet flower! Uh, the, the what now? The seeds of the tetratanic sweet flower are four times bigger than those of ordinary sweet flowers. And the sweet flowers that grow from them are, well, tetratanic sweet flowers. Bigger, stronger, sweeter, and more beautiful. A perfect Tibet species. Oh, and not to mention that the recipe comes from remote antiquity. A perfect, magnificent flower from the far-flung past. Whatever people say, this is my wind bloom. Sucrose is... <sighs> consistently sucrose. I must go and source some nutrients for my wind bloom. Bye for now. <laughs> <laughs> Who knew alchemy could generate such enthusiasm? <laughs> now, Timaeus. Your homework? Uh, just finished, sir. Here. Ooh, here we go! Paimon's favorite part! Timaeus, may I recite it? Duh! You're gonna read it out loud? Duh! <laughs> Don't be embarrassed. Uh -uh. Here we go! Hand in hand with you before the furnace, the flames fail to rise, for they are burning in my heart. Wow! Sounds so romantic! And you even tailored it to your profession! Great job! Truly, a masterpiece beyond all expectation, Timaeus. You're a natural. Really? Wow! I had no idea that someone like me could write love poems of any merit. It must have been Professor Venti's excellent guidance. <laughs> Professor, as soon as I'm done here, I'll sort out my tuition fee. Ah, music to my ears. <laughs> Now, uh, that's job satisfaction. And I guess that's everyone's homework collected, no? Hmm. Hmm. Aren't we missing someone? Who could that be? Hmm. Oh! Where did Bennett run off to? Okay. Um, support.
let's go and find Bennett. He's the last guy who doesn't submit his work. Barbara, we need to ask you something. Traveler, Paimon, Mr. Bard! Something terrible's happened! Bennett's gone missing! Missing? You mean he hasn't returned after leaving that day? Uh, yes! What if he's in danger? We have no idea where he is! <sighs> the Thousand Winds Temple. Huh? Rosaria? With you all in the cathedral shouting at the top of your lungs, I could hear everything you were saying. Oh! Paimon remembers now! He said something like, I've got it! The Thousand Winds Temple! There's no time to lose! <laughs> Let's head to the temple and investigate! Okay, so report. Thousand Temple. So basically we're going to find Bennett. Uh, so this is the story quest, guys. Story quest for the Windmill Festival. This is the Act 3. So we started on Act 2. So I haven't recorded the Act 1. Sorry guys. But basically this is the Windmill. They're just finding out what's the meaning of the Windmill or what no is trace it. trace of Bennett anywhere. What is it for? Forces? Everyone. Freezer, Reason. someone's coming. Maybe they're here to save us. Traveler, keep your eyes peeled for enemies. So different person, different union. Why? It's not. By royal. Ah, oh, we're here! Bennett, we've come to the rescue! Whoa, this cell has two sections. See what I mean? Even they're surprised by this crazy cell. Lucky you two got locked on opposite sides. Oh, what a superior design. Presumably an ancient mechanism is involved somehow. Uh, there's gotta be a mechanism around here someplace. Quick, go look for it. Mm, stomach rumbling. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, you just ate the apple from my back. You two seem to have adjusted well to life in prison. We can leave you here if you like. No, 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 not funny. I'm begging you, all right? Please, find the mechanism. Okay. And open sesame. Ah, oh, freedom at last. How did you get into Very this? Very unexpected. <laughs> I wouldn't call it unexpected. This was just a normal day for me. <laughs> Sorry. Ah, no need to apologize. It wasn't even your fault. So, let's hear the story. Wait, what happened with that letter? Oh, it was just a false alarm. Turns out some fans just wanted to get her attention so they could get a gift to her. What the? That's terrible. What kind of a person does that? I've been locked up here a whole day thanks to them. <laughs> Sorry. Don't be, Razor! Uh, I didn't mean... Uh, like I said, there's nothing to apologize for. It was my fault for being so hasty in the first place. I rushed off without giving the map a proper look and ended up in the complete wrong location. Uh, after I left the cathedral, I came straight to the area around the Thousand Winds Temple. But there were monsters everywhere, not to mention ruin guards. You know, those huge things. I guess you've seen them before. 
Ai, deu feito. Mas como primeiro aventurador, eu fui capaz de rely on my wits para evadir them. Then I got to the temple itself. The moment I arrived here, I heard a monster's roar. Well, Paimon's guessed the ending already. I remember thinking it must be some villainous <laughs> trap that the perpetrator had set for us. But was Bennett the adventurer, leader of Benny's adventure team, about to back down? No way! So I charged straight in! Uh, that's when I found him inside. Razor, what were you doing at the Thousand Winds Temple? Woven them. Many hunters. Too noisy, so I leave. So, you came all the way to the Thousand Winds Temple, then what? You were trapped by the mechanism? <laughs> Turns out it was no ordinary cell, what with the inner and outer sections. Of course, when I saw that Razor had been trapped inside, I had to rescue him. Then, all of a sudden, there was a huge crash as the other cell door came down. Yep, just as Paimon expected. Anyway, why did you come to the Thousand Winds Temple? Bennett, did you forget about your homework? I'm ready to collect my tuition fee once I've corrected it, of course. Oh, the love poem. Of course I didn't forget. It's not like I had much else to do, being stuck in this cell all day and all night. So at some point, I just started working on it. It's all finished now. Even Razor reviewed it. Oh, yeah? Razor, how did he do? Uh, <laughs> don't understand words, but feel warm, tingly, like Wolfhookthorn. Bennett, <laughs> may I recite your work? Oh, sure. A taste of Bennett's wordsmanship. <laughs> A round of applause for Bennett! You and the Mare Javari. So close and yet so far. One at the edge of the world, the other in the center of my heart. Wolfhook and Dandelion. My Windbloom offering to you. Uh, Wolfhook? It, yeah, not bad, right? Uh, it's definitely your style. A marvelous work! Unpretentious and honest, sincere and evocative. Thank you. Thank you very much, sir. Bennett did good poem. <laughs> Thanks to you too, Razor. Congratulations! Nice job! Still, Wolfhook and Dandelion, can they both be wind blooms? Oh, that was Razor's edition. I asked him, what do you think the wind bloom is? Wolfhook was his answer. Yes, Wolfhook, good. So, even berries count now? A novel take indeed. Ah, I'm so happy. Today was lucky. Getting rescued against the odds, receiving praise for my poem. Brilliant! Sir, as soon as we're back in Mondstadt, I'll buy you some wine. Then it's pretty easy to please. <laughs> <laughs> That's not quite it. I'm always so unlucky, so I'll take what I can get. Yes, but in future, be careful. Hey, you should talk. <laughs> Everyone, I have an announcement to make. All the poems from the Fast Track class have now been collected. Great. So to celebrate, let's go to the tavern and have a drink. I'm afraid Razor and I have to be going. He said he knows of some relatively unknown areas worth exploring and wants to show them to me. Have a great time, though. Nice. Okay, where do we go now? Teleport? To the tower. Hey, child, it's us! Welcome. Have a seat wherever you like. Uh, Master D. Luke? Oh, I was about to finish this drink and go looking for you. But you've done the hard part for me. It sure is lively in here. <laughs> 
It is the Windbloom Festival after all. No one in Mondstadt who has the time and Mora is going to miss out on a trip to the tavern. Traveler, will you have a drink? Hmm, no. <laughs> no pressure. It's not a requirement. Soaking up the festival atmosphere is the most important thing. Master Jean wanted me to pass along this message. You've been chosen as this year's Windbloom Star. Quite the honor. Windbloom Star? The Windbloom Star is one of Mondstadt's greatest honors. Normally only bestowed upon those who have made enormous sacrifices for Mondstadt, or who have truly proven themselves over the Windbloom Festival period. Since arriving in Mondstadt, you have offered invaluable support to its people. This is their way of saying thank you. I know you will receive it gracefully. Oh yes, and another thing. The Windbloom Star must attend the Windbloom Ceremony together with the Acting Grand Master. During the ceremony, you will represent the people of Mondstadt in making a Windbloom offering to the Animo Archon Barbados. But which Windbloom are you talking about? <laughs> a good question. Diluc, care to explain? Passing on messages and deliberating over ceremonial details Sounds more like your line of work, Kaya. <sighs> no sense of humor. <laughs> Traveler. The Windbloom is always chosen by the Windbloom Star. So the flower offered to the Animal Archon for this year's celebrations is entirely up to you. Whoa! No pressure, huh? <laughs> hey, where's the bartender? How come Master Diluc's mixing the drinks? If it's Charles you're after, he's out on delivery. <laughs> and who is most directly responsible for creating the demand for an alcohol delivery service at this time of year in the first place? <laughs> I see. So, what do you make of Master Diluc's mixing ability? Why don't we ask the formidable Sister Rosaria? What do you think? <laughs> He's not bad. Formidable? Did you guys have a fight? I'd call it a misunderstanding. I caught sight of a suspicious figure hurtling by the Knights of Favonius headquarters. Fortunately, I discovered in good time that it was Miss Rosaria and stayed my hand. Aha! So the suspicious figure that day was Rosaria all along! Folks in Mondstadt are on edge with you constantly on the prowl. You're no ordinary sister, that's for sure. Allow me to return the compliment, good Master Diluc. You're hardly a run-of-the-mill businessman yourself. <laughs> My. Such a formidable wit, too. But really, is there any here among us today who can't be said to possess a talent or two? Even the celebrated honorary knight has graced us with their presence tonight. Truly, a good day for a drink. Well said. So, Kaya, uh, about that tuition fee? Please collect the goods from Diluc. Three bottles, as promised. They didn't come cheap. The better the wine, the higher the price. Just economics. How are you enjoying the Windbloom Festival, Traveler? It's fun. That's good to hear. A toast, everyone. To a happy Windbloom Festival and the free people of Mondstadt. Cheers. Cheers! Cheers! <laughs> what a festival! Now, this won't drink itself. Oh, Toad Deaf Bard, spare us off for other people. Paimon's looking for good food, not just good drink. Nice. Okay, leave the tavern. Okay, what quest complete? So let's go for the last quest. Okay, this is the last quest, guys. Can do. 
Oh, he's not in the cathedral. <laughs> it's on the middle. Hey, Dean! Traveler! Uh, excuse me. I should address you as Honorary Knight under the circumstances. I suppose you heard? You're this year's Windbloom Star. You will be making an offering of Windblooms to the Animo Archon Barbados on behalf of the whole of Mondstadt. Oh, although, things will be a little different this time. <sighs> yeah. But with us and the Tone Deaf Bard here, this year's Windbloom Festival is sure to be bigger than ever. <sighs> that is true. Thank you for taking up residence in Mondstadt, and I hope you continue to enjoy Mondstadt life. Oh, the Windbloom ceremony is about to begin. Windbloom Star, have you chosen your Windbloom? Yeah. So we choose one type of flower, then offer it to the Animal Archon, right? Exactly right. Please consider your choice carefully. Remember, you are representing the whole of Mondstadt. <laughs> <laughs> Very cunning. <laughs> Trying to cheat, are we? <clears throat> hey, don't you two go spilling secrets during an occasion like this? <laughs> <laughs> they told us. Don't worry about me. Choose something you like. I trust your tastes. So, <laughs> honorary knight, what is your choice? Small lump grass, sweet flower, roast. We will ask. I think dandelion is the most. Ah, throwing your weight behind one of the people's favorites. Windblooms must be dandelions after all. On behalf of the people of Mondstadt, please offer your windbloom to the statue. So I'm gonna go up. There. Oh, here. May the wind carry our blessings and praise. Okay, talk to Wendy. Thank you, Windbloom Star, for your sincere Windbloom offering to the Animo Archon Barbados. May the wind protect Mondstadt. Huh, interesting choice. You like it? <laughs> Take a guess. Typical tone deaf bard. Stop <laughs> making people guess all the time! <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, I'll tell you. But not here, though. Not a good idea with so many people in the plaza. Change of surroundings needed. Where should we go? I want you to come with me to Storm Terror's lair. Okay. Let's teleport. It's been a while since I've come here, and uh, things have gotten a little out of order. Traveler, shall we clear the area up a bit? Let's call it our Windbloom gift to Devalin. Hey, good point! Doesn't Devalin want to take part in the Windbloom Festival too? He's not here, but I sense he'll be back soon. Right, I'll let you handle that area. I'll take another. Let's meet up top when we're done. I will have order. Lament! Worthless! Here! Gather! Let's go! Getting some action here. <laughs> okay, we're going to, we need to clear this place before we can clear this place. I will have order. Stabilize. 
Is a view. Isn't it? <laughs> I am fond of this place. Sometimes when I've got nothing else to do, <laughs> I come here just to sit and gaze a while. You mean sit and laze around? <laughs> <laughs> Guilty as charged. <sighs> it's so beautiful. If only we had some cider in hand. So, Traveler, the Mondstadt Windbloom Festival. <laughs> do you like it? And yet... You still have something you wish to ask, do you not? I know your question. What are wind blooms exactly? And what do wind blooms in the wind bloom festival mean to Barbados, the Animo Archon? As you've seen, the people of Mondstadt each make their own choice. Out of the millions of flowers there are, some choose the dandelion, others choose the windwheel aster. Huh. <sighs> it does seem like wind bloom means something unique to each person. Correct, and long may that be the case. There is no single answer, and no true wind blooms in existence. So, wind blooms don't really exist? The word wind bloom dates from the age of old Mondstadt. It was a code word that the people used to stay in contact and mount resistance in secret. At that time, the people often said that the stronger the wind blows, the firmer the roots of the wind bloom grow and the brighter the flowers that burst into bloom. If you want my perspective, wind blooms don't exist. Yet they are all around us nonetheless. They are the spirit of yearning for freedom, the courage to follow the wind wherever it may lead. All objects that are beautiful and worthy of blessing. All can be wind blooms. You can't see them, but you can feel their presence everywhere, just like the wind. <laughs> well said. So what are wind blooms? Something that the animal Archon Barbados will not define. Flowers of blessings, flowers of respect, flowers of love. Every individual has their own wind blooms, and every individual has the right to define them. Guess it's no surprise that the type of flower given by the City of Freedom to its deity is in itself an expression of freedom. I know. It is people's shared will that brings them onto the same page. And surely, it is the wind of freedom that brought us together. It comes from the end of the journey, the edge of the world, the depths of our hearts. It is ceaseless. <sighs> Who was it that stroked your bloody, determined visage? By stream flowing small, by boulder standing large. Who was it that embraced your weary yet noble soul? In dreams deep, in skies soaring, dear friend, I am leading you by the hand into the night where lanterns shine bright to tell you a tale of freedom and dreams. The tale of where this festival begins. <laughs> the Windbloom Festival originated in the Crown of the North, the City of Freedom. Oh, we gotta bring enough supplies this time, otherwise you'll go hungry again. <laughs> <laughs> so, if you're asking me... Unofficial business? We're grateful to you, as are we to you. Funny, we haven't gotten together for a meal while. It's been so busy lately. What should we do on this day? <sighs> Mr. Albedo! 
How's the research going? <sighs> We've had a few issues. Well, have a look at this. No. Of course, any good tavern offers bar snacks. Hmm, really? Hmm. How should we do it? Who should we do it for? Quietly? <laughs> or boldly? Make the first move, or trust a chance. Huh? Uh, look out! Oh, oh. <laughs> sorry, so sorry! <sighs> My answer is this. So long as we can both share fond memories. It doesn't matter. Let the heart decide. <laughs> Dream of the Wind and Towers. Nice. So we just. <laughs> My guest of all and found the gift we prepared for him. A fresh breeze and a comfortable environment. He'll love it. Nice. So guys, this is again the album gaming. Thank you for watching. So we just finished the story quest for the Wind Moon Festival. Peace, guys. So it writes sleep well by heart. So that is the main quest for the act two, three, and four. So I haven't, I forgot to record the act one, but still, that's the Wind Bloom Festival. So it's in the heart, in the soul of each people, in each in each individual. So as yeah, wine as long the as same you as believe I in remember. the animal archon and you have, what, but where are those you have, share you know. Memory? What is the Wind Bloom Festival in your heart? That's the Wind Bloom. So that's the people. So that's the seat of freedom. So this is again the album gaming guys. Eat right, sleep well, play hard. Thank you for watching.